Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let me show you how to simplify this rational algebraic expression, 30x raised to the fifth power over 45x raised to the second power. As you can see, we have here the numbers or the fractions 30 over 45, in which this is the first thing we need to simplify. We need to factor it out like this. This 30 can be factored out as 15 times 2. And also, this 45 can be factored out as 15 times 3. As you can see, we can eliminate later on 15 over 15. But before that, let's figure out and expand x to the fifth power. It will become x times x times x times x times x. And that is the same as x to the fifth power. Well, this x squared can be factored out as x times x. And this time, we'll eliminate the same factors from the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel this out and solve this one, this one, this one, and this one. And what we have here are just the answers 2. And then for x times x times x, that is the same as x raised to the third power over the remaining number in our denominator. That would be 2x to the third power over 3. Now let's move on with the second expression. We are given 3y squared plus 6y. Here, we can use common monomial factoring to simplify this whole equation or this expression. For the numbers, we have the common factor, which is 3. For the variable, we have y. And then to get the other factor, 3y squared divided by 3y, that would be y. 6y divided by 3y, that would be plus 2. And for the denominator, the common factor is also 3y. To get the other factor, 6y squared divided by 3y, that is 2y. And here, 9y divided by 3y, that is plus 3. And as you can see, we have the same factor in the numerator, cancel this one and cancel this one, what remains here are just y plus 2 over 2y plus 3. And this is now the simplified form of the second given algebra expression. Now let's move on with the other expressions like this. Okay, as you can see, we are given these expressions x squared minus 16 over x squared plus 9x plus 20. This is a binomial and this is a trinomial. And don't worry because if you are good with factoring different methods or different polynomials, you can simplify rational algebra expressions. Here, this is x squared minus 16, in which we can use the difference of two squares. And to remind you, the pattern is simply x squared minus y squared that would be x plus y, then x minus y. These are the factors of this. So since this one is a perfect square and this is also a perfect square, it fits with our pattern. So that would be x plus 4 times x minus 4. Get the square root of x squared, which is x. Get the square root of 16, that is 4, for the pattern plus minus over. This one is a trinomial. Basically, the factors are like this. Since this is x, that would be x and x. Now, for the factors of 20, that will add up to 9. Let's list down all the factors of 20 here. We have 20 times 1. We also have 10 times 2. So none of this will give us the 9. So let's try another one. 20, we have 5 times 4. Definitely, this will give us the sum of 9. So that would be plus 5 plus 4. And as you can see, we have the common factor. We can eliminate this part and this part. And the remaining factors would be the numerator and the denominator of the simplified expression. That is x minus 4 over x plus 5. And this is now the simplified form of example number 3. 
That's it, guys. So let's move on with example number four. The, two, the numerator and the denominator are both trinomials. We have x squared plus 2x minus 8. So here, we can factor it out like, let me adjust the paper first. This one. The factors of the first term are just x and x. Here, negative 8. That will add up to 2. That would be plus 4 and minus 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2 over this one. So this is x and x. Factors 12, that will give us 7. That is plus 4, then plus 3. And as you can see, you can eliminate x plus 4 and x plus 4 here. So what remains here are the simplified expression x minus 2 over x plus 3. So this is the answer, guys. Now, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, let me give you the fifth example. And I want you to simplify this expression. And let's see sa ating comment section what is your answer here. So let's try having 6x minus 3 over... 15x plus 30. So what is your answer here? So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to simplify rational algebra expression. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!